Dear students, today we are going to learn about Adobe Photoshop in which you will be learning how to create a collage. So first of all, before we create a collage, we need to have a background. To take a background, just click on file tab, file tab here. Click on new and untitled new background is being selected. Write the name as collage here. And here the width is selected as 800, height is 600 and resolution 72. All are selected in pixels. So let it be like this only. Just click on OK. If you find in your computer the setting is different, then just make it like this only and just click on OK. Now see here the background is selected and first layer is the background layer. Okay. Now next what you need to do, you need to choose a background image here for this. Once again click on file tab. Now this time click on open the shortcut key is ctrl plus o this will uh, bring you to the folder where the photos are stored if you don't find any folder where the photos are stored just navigate it and find it out so i'm going to choose this image as a background image see this image is open but the image is looking too large so what you can do just click on Ctrl plus A, the image is selected, then go to image tab, go to image size, reduce the image width as 600 here, nothing to do, only just write 600 here, click on OK, see the size is smaller, now just from the toolbox, just click on move tool and drag this to the background see the image is looking little smaller than what we have chosen as a background so nothing to worry what you can do from the keyboard just type ctrl plus t just press ctrl plus t and see the transform free transform is activated here what you can do, you just drag it and just position it, drag and position it. Now see your background is ready. Okay. Now what you can do, press add the key. Now from this layer group, here you have opacity 100%, just click on this arrow and reduce it to 65%. 60 to 65 you can keep it. Now see the background is little lighter, the opacity is reduced. Okay. Now next we will be putting a border to this background. For this just press Ctrl plus A and then click on Edit tab go to stroke here click on stroke and here the width is selected as 5 change it to 20 and here we can choose the color color can be changed and make it black click on ok now see the color is black now location we will be keeping the location as inside See the inside is already selected. Just click on OK and see we have got the border here. Border is black in color. Now press enter key. Next, we are going to add some image because we are going to create a collage here. So we will be adding some image. Do the same process. Click on file tab. Click on open 
and choose the image that you want to keep it in your collage. I'm choosing this image. See the size of the image is bigger. Go to image tab, image size, reduce it to 400. Width can be reduced to 400. Let the height be adjusted by itself only. Now click on OK and see the size is smaller. Now the from the tool box, just click on move tool, drag this image to your background. See the size is quite bigger, nothing to worry. Just press Ctrl plus T, transform is activated, you can reduce the size. This is the size and plus press enter key. Now again click on edit tab, go to stroke and see the width is 20 pixel. Just make it 5 pixel only, change the color. Change the color to red, click on OK and now location is still inside, let it be inside only. Now click on OK and see here we have got the border of this collage image also. Now again go to file tab, do the same process, click on open, choose another image. See the image size is again bigger, just click on image tab, click on image size, reduce it to 400, click on OK. Move tool is already activated, just drag and drop inside the background. See the size is bigger. What you can do, again press Ctrl plus T, transform, free transform is activated. Just Check the size of the previous image, arrange it in a manner how I am doing, arrange it like this and drag and position it wherever you want to keep it in your collage. So this is the place I want to keep this image, press enter key. Now again go to edit tab, click on stroke. Let everything be as it is, just click on OK and see the border of this image. Again, do the same process, click on OK. I am doing a little faster, I am choosing this image. I am choosing the random images because I have these images in my computer. While you are doing, you can choose image as per your subject or the topic of your collage okay now drag it and drop inside control plus t Enter key, then edit, stroke, same process. Now again, open another image. If the image size is bigger, change the image size to 400. Now move tool is already activated, then drag and drop, control plus T, now edit, press enter key, click on edit stroke okay and see now we have chosen four images in our collage now one by one you can arrange the images as per your requirement so first image is this just click on layer number two you can
choose it like this. Now click on layer number three. Now layer number four, once again, you can arrange it in a manner as per your requirement. So this is the manner you can create a collage. See, I have just taught you like this. In this manner, you can bring more images in your background and make a collage. Okay. Hope you all have understood what to do in your practical. See here, you can close all these. When it is done, you can close all these images. When it is done, click on no. Because I don't want to reduce the size of the image which is stored in my computer. Now, this is the way you can do your practical. Thank you all of you.